provided strong and principled leadership to the BC Federation of Labour. He really lives the principle that what we desire for ourselves, we wish for all. Under Jim's leadership, we've been on the front lines of the struggle for worker safety for the most vulnerable workers. Because of Jim, we achieved the $10 minimum wage, $10.25 minimum wage this, this May. And Jim works closely with every affiliate, of course, including the BC Teachers Federation, and he was absolutely pivotal in encouraging the BCTF to join the BC Federation of Labour, and it's been a very happy marriage, let me tell you. And in 2005, he stood with us, with teachers in this province, uh, when we took on the last battle against this government, one of many, and I'm sure speakers today will talk about that. So brothers and sisters, please welcome Jim Sinclair, President of the BC Fed. love it. And today is one of those days, I gotta tell you. Thank you all for coming. I want to first of all thank some very important people. In fact, some of the reason that we're here today, I want to thank the teachers of British Columbia for the job they do. You are not, teachers are not only standing up for themselves, they're not only standing up for the children of this province and the young adults of this province. They're also standing up for every working person in this province that believes there should be fair and free collective bargaining for everybody in this province. <laughs> Irene said some nice things about me. I appreciate it, but nothing happens in this labor movement because of me. It happens because of you, the members of this movement, and the leadership of this movement. And on last Thursday night, when we gathered at the Federation Hall, all the leaders of the land movement, we had a couple of choices to make. Many of those people are here today that made that choice. I want to introduce them to you. First of all, David Black from COPE 378. Yeah. Daryl Walker, the BCGU. Yeah. Claudie Pearson and Ken Robinson of the HEU. Yeah. Tommy Duprain of the ILWU. Yeah. Daniel O'Neill of the CQP. Yeah. Susan Spratt of the CW. Yeah. And of course, Susan Lambert of the, of the Teachers Federation. Yeah. And, and last but never least, Dusty Kelly from IATSE. Thank you, Dusty. And what we decided that night, of course, was the right thing. Because you could take a pass on this fight and let teachers go and fight it, but we recognized that was wrong. That this was a fight for every working person in this province and for the labor movement. And that is why the decision was made on Thursday night with the BCTF that there are thousands and thousands of us today to send Christy Clark a message. We made the right decision, and you made the right decision to come. Thank you very much. I look over this crowd and I see thousands of people who have decided to leave their job today and join us. Thank you for your courage and your commitment to working people. <laughs> Provincial government workers, school board employees who work side by side with, with, with uh, teachers, municipal workers, hydro workers, ICBC workers, healthcare workers, college and university employees, the list goes on. I also see longshore folks, I see building trades people, I see private sector people as well because it affects everybody and everybody in the province who bargains. 